I was asking the guard how to get to the uh, Sichuan Museum, but he told me to uh, cross the street and then go to the right, and guess what happened? The roads are 45 degrees diagonal. Anyways, I'm actually, uh, I actually ended up on the right track, so here I will be heading over. I am at the section for personal development. Here we have the process of creating personally. I don't really know any of the steps, so this is all I can do. So far, Song Dynasty mainly focuses on one or two colored pottery and mostly yellow in color. In the Tang Dynasty, it's tri-colored right here and later in the uh, Qing Dynasty none of these are from the Qing Dynasty but they have uh, a special type called Qinghua Shi it's the type that you see most commonly nowadays what I meant about the Song Dynasty having only one or two colors is that even though they can create lots of different colors they generally just glaze it over with one or two colors during the Tang Dynasty Porcelain, creation, pottery has become a lot more refined. You can see a lot more details from all the artifacts compared to the previous dynasties. For example, the Han Dynasty. However, during the Han Dynasty, I think they have created more abstract art. Okay, never mind, this shut me up. This is also from the Tang Dynasty. During the Song Dynasty, it seems that rather than changing the art style or coloring, what they did was refining the ways of making porcelain. This is one of them, and the white one over here. Or another. These two types of porcelain are much more refined than the previous types or so they seem smoother, more shiny, having a stronger style for elegance rather than for pure, simple, um, rather than for artistic impressions. And of course, after the late Ming Dynasty into the Qing Dynasty, skills have become much more refined and people are going for artistic style as well as the usage. The porcelain itself is more refined and they are all glazed over with different colors. They have been strongly developed during the Qing Dynasty. I am just surprised. After 2500 years, the blades are still so sharp. Even the stuff from the Western Zhou Dynasty, 3,000 years ago almost, are still nearly as sharp. Now of course, it's possible that the skills of creating weapons at that time was not yet perfectly refined compared to the uh, Warring States era. So, for example, comparing this spearheads from the Warring States era and Weapons from the Western Zhou Dynasty, 500 years older. Could it be the focus on weaponry that all the other home use wear, pots and stuff, have become much less detailed? Except for this one. This one's pretty cool. And the, West, the rest of them are from the Western Zhou Dynasty. Look at the texture and the intricate details carved down to generally just home use or religious use. The weapons and tools from the Warring States era have a stronger sense of accuracy. They're refined at the sides. The precision in the making of these tools 
have increased considerably from the Western Zhou Dynasty. Sharpness 